You are listening to Bedtime Dreamy Tales. Please make sure you have smashed that like button and subscribe to our channel for new story. Story title, The Sea Hare. Once upon a time, in a grand castle perched high upon a hill, lived a proud and haughty princess. The castle's walls enclosed a palace with 12 windows, each offering a view that stretched far into the horizon. Whenever the princess ascended to the top floor of her palace, she could survey her entire kingdom. With each window she looked through, her vision became sharper. The first window gave her clearer sight than any mortal, the second even clearer, and so on, until the last window, through which she could see everything under the heavens. Nothing could escape her eyes. The princess was arrogant and longed to wield power alone forever. She proclaimed that any suitor who wished to marry her must hide from her sight. Failure to remain hidden would cost him his life. Many had tried and failed. Their heads now adorned the 97 pillars outside the castle. For a time, no one dared challenge her again, and the princess relished her freedom. But then, three brothers arrived at the court, each eager to test their luck. The eldest thought he could hide in the lime kiln, but the princess spotted him instantly from the first window and had him beheaded. The second brother hid in the palace cellar, only to meet the same fate from the princess's keen sight. His head was placed on the 99th pillar. The youngest brother, seeing the fate of his siblings, begged for mercy and a chance to hide twice. If he failed the third time, he would accept his fate. The princess, taken by his good looks and sincerity, agreed to give him two chances. The young man wandered long and hard but could not think of a foolproof hiding spot. In desperation, he took his gun and went hunting. As he aimed at a crow in the distance, it spoke to him, spare me and I shall repay you. He lowered his gun and moved on, only to encounter a fish leaping from the lake. As he aimed once again, the fish pleaded similarly, spare me and I shall repay you. He let the fish swim away. Later, he came across a limping fox and helped it by removing a thorn from his foot. As he was about to kill the fox for his fur, it too begged for mercy, promising repayment. Moved by his plea, he released the fox. As night fell, he returned home, still without a hiding place. The next day, he sought out the crow, which suggested hiding him inside an egg in his nest. The crow sealed him inside and sat upon him. The princess, unable to see him through any of her windows, grew anxious. However, at the eleventh window, she finally spotted him, ordered the crow shot, and had the egg broken open. The next day, by the lakeside, he called upon the fish, which swallowed him whole and took him to the lake's bottom. Yet again, the princess could not spot him until the very last window, where she saw and had the fish caught and killed, forcing him out. On the final day, way down with dread, he met the fox once more. The cunning fox led him to a spring, where he jumped in and transformed into a merchant selling furs. The young man followed suit and transformed into a small sea hare. As a merchant, the fox brought him to the market where the princess, intrigued by the unique creature, bought it. Before handing the sea hare over, the merchant advised it to hide beneath the princess's braid when she approached the windows. As the princess inspected each window, she could not find him. At the twelfth window, in a fit of rage, she slammed the windows shut, shattering the glass. Turning around, she found herself face to face with the sea hare nestled in her braid. Surprised and outwitted, she tossed the sea hare away, commanding it to leave. The young man, now back in human form with the fox's help, thanked the clever animal, acknowledging it as the craftiest of his helpers. The princess, realizing she had been defeated at her own game, awaited him in the court. Seeing his cleverness and bravery, she accepted her fate and agreed to marry him. Their wedding was grand, and he became the king, ruling wisely. The princess, impressed by his ingenuity and realizing he possessed abilities even she lacked, respected him more than ever, believing he had outsmarted her with his own skills. And so, the king never revealed his secret helpers to his wife, allowing her to cherish the belief in his unmatched prowess. Thus, they lived ever in mutual respect and admiration, ruling their kingdom together. If you like the story, please give this video a like. For more stories, go to BedtimeDreamyTales.com. See you in the next story.